Hi, Hiram here. Nate over at World Stoves sent me a couple of his stoves for Christmas. I really thank him for that. He sent me one of his Beaner stoves and he sent me one of his Pup stoves. Really cool little stove. I'll do a more uh, involved review of these things later, but I'm really anxious to give this a try on burning in it. Uh, what this is is a pipe with holes drilled in, meant to hang with a carabiner on your pack or something. Not exactly lightweight, but I think they say that this is for two people, a good two people little stove. Burner, I should say. It's not really a stove, it's a burner. You have this piece plus you supply an empty 12 ounce can. He has instructions where he shows you how you take off the top edge and you punch holes in the bottom. Now what I did was I cut the top off with a side cutter and then when I went to do the holes what I did was I filled the can up with perlite, that little white stone stuff, packed it in, put the lid back on and held it with my fingers while I poked the holes on the line that I put on there, about 5 eighths of an inch up. By filling the can with perlite, it keeps the can from collapsing when you're trying to punch the holes in it. Worked out a whole lot better. The first two, boy, I made a mess out of them because when I'd go to try to punch the hole, the can would collapse. So anyway, you supply a can like this and the beaner stove, am I up too high? Uh-oh. The bean, beaner stove just goes in like that and lines up with this bottom ring just like that. Now in the instructions he says about how you fill the uh, burner up. He suggests using wood pellets until you get the hang of the stove. You fill it up to about two and three quarter inch from the top with your wood pellets and then you put some sort of igniter in there. In this case I'm going to use this gel fuel this is uh, gel fuel for using with fondue pots, fondue stoves rather. Let me just put some of that in there. Now this burner is what he calls a pyrolytic stove, pyrolytic burner. What us normal people call a wood gas stove. It Burn, it doesn't actually burn the wood, it turns it into charcoal. I'll go into more detail with that. I just want to see what this goes like. Okay, I can't tell if that's lit out here in the light. This is really different working out here versus on the uh, tabletop. It feels like it's going. This is going to take a little bit. That uh, gel fuel has to heat up the uh, burner and then start working on the wood pellets. Let me move this pup stove out of the way. Okay, that's going. Let me just let this go and I'll come back once it's up in flame. That gel fuel was a bust. All it did was burn off and didn't start the wood, the wood pellets. So what I have here is a crumbled up Weber cube. Let's see what that does. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it is the wood now burning. Little jets are coming in through those upper that upper set of holes. I know I didn't go into great detail about this stove. I was just kind of anxious to do a burn test on this. I will uh, be upcoming doing more tests on this and the pup stove, and I'll go into more detail about this stove, this burner. I think this is a test that I probably should have done at night so you can see the jets coming in 
like I said, this is a wood gas stove or a pyrolytic stove. It doesn't actually burn the wood. It just forces the gases out of the wood and burns that. And at the end, I'll have a pile of carbon left over, which can be put in the ground. So this is pretty much a green stove, even though it's in a red can, but it's a green stove. I thank Nate for sending me these two stoves, this Beaner stove and the Pup stove. I will be doing more tests on this. I'm just fascinated by this little thing. Uh, I'll do more tests in the dark so you all can see it. Anyway, rambling here. Thank you, Nate, over at World Stove. I'll put a link down in the text area for his videos and his website. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Okay, after this had been burning for a while, I thought, what the heck? Let's take it in the garage. It's a little bit darker in there. It's not making a bunch of soot or smoke or anything. But, oops. Got to watch that. Flames coming up to the camera. I think you can see the jets. There we go. I moved the camera up and used the telephoto. You can see the jets there going at an angle. Pretty much a clean flame. And this has been going on, I think, for about 14 minutes. So anyway, there's a, a glimpse into what it looks like.